Okay, um, a little while ago we got a warning that a uh, message from some ship that was apparently in trouble, and we were told to, uh, Those ships! Wait. Xenon! Oh, apparently the ship in trouble was getting attacked by Zen Zen Zenon, or Zen Zenon, or whatever. Wait, why am I- oh, I'm not moving forward. Argon reinforcements are jumping in! But yeah, I thought it wasn't important, so I wasn't recording it. Now but... the skunk. Keep away from the xenon. Don't let them get too close, as they could probe your systems. We need a bit of help with that, Admiral. What am I? Where are they? I don't see the xenon. Uh, let's do this. Ciao, John Fraco. I think would be the chair. Oh, there we go. Zen on N. Details. Plot course. Looks like we have a handle on the situation now. Yeah, it's one Zen on no ship. how close you were to causing us major problems. If those machines had hacked your systems, they would know everything about Albion. We'll send you our latest patches to protect your database. You'd better get your destination as soon as you can. We can't be sure that the sector is completely secure. Oh, there it Thank is you, there. Admiral. Yeah, so apparently the Xenon are an issue in this is Xenon or Xenon, whatever, I don't know. Uh, let's disable guidance to that thing. Uh, there's... You see that? Oh, I'm gonna lie, right? Where are we going now? Uh... Can it tell us? No, oh, I accidentally disabled guidance. Uh, sit active, there we go. Fly to the Fallen Kingdom. And we're in. Man, the ships in this highway are just, just fly, flying along. Look at the size of this station that we're just that kind of rendered in and out. Fallen Kingdom. That's really a city. Like skyscrapers and everything. That's impressive. But anyways, moving on to the next system. Hey, the Colburn guy. This Colburn guy. He was looking for a. Uh, um, looking for his friends. He'd come to. Us, maybe? Yeah, like, I was lying on this big warship, flagship kind of thing. Is this where we're at, Well, Oh, no, we're going down. So, yeah, this, the up and downs is really an illusion. I wonder if you could fly from one second to the next, but it'd just take forever. What was that we just passed through? Some sort of nebula? I think we just exited the highway. Oh no. We just oh, wow. That planet is really close. That's a big crater. And we're close enough that the ships need engines to hold themselves up? That's kind of ridiculous. Oop, missed it. And we go through here, I think. Three sectors so far in Omicron Library we've been to. To High Scholar. Uh, no. I sent it the highway game. There we go. And uh, we're almost there. Looks like there's some sort of... Looks like there's another highway there. And there's another one of those skyscrapers. And there's another one back there. And there's an hostile ship over here. Consumer compact craft, okay. Entering, I scholar. Okay, 
looks like we've reached our destination. We've just got to navigate our way through the skyscrapers and get to this station over here. Which is relatively small compared to the other one. Three, two, one. This is Landing. the Albion Skunk. Requesting permission to dock. And we just unlocked a whole bunch of that station. Oh, Colburn is actually his name. Yeah. Alright, oh, that's, that's what I did say. Nah, I'm running into a wall. Yeah. These stations are nice. Hanging out in the park. Possibly. Oh no, he's been good at hanging out in his office. You're here sooner than I expected. I'm Neil Colburn, CEO of John Fico. Reno Tani, how can we help? I don't want to keep you long. I understand you've had quite the journey from Albion. I hear that a war has broken out between different factions there. I expect the Argon Navy orders you not to interfere. Pretty much. Do you expect them to help us? The military are scared. There are potential enemies on both sides, but I know there may also be allies. I long to see Albion again, and try to find old friends, and this can only happen if there is peace. So far, the Argon Navy has supported your story. There are Argon and Terran citizens stranded in a DeVries sector with a Plutarch flotilla guarding the gate and threatening approaching ships. It seems to me that your people are the only ones worth dealing with. We're certainly open for new trade agreements but this conflict isn't going to die down. Give it time. I doubt the Xenon are going anywhere soon. I'll make arrangements to send a goodwill freighter to the Cantoran sector. It's been so long since we've had a new trade route. If you can get us clearance to enter DeVries, I'm sure we can help smooth things over. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Uh, what do I want to know? How does Xenon, what do Gen Jonfrica specialize in? Uh, Trust me, I have to tell you that our mortal enemy is already in our laps. A jump gate opened up several weeks ago, leading to some strange system, very ominous and unwelcoming. Maelstrom, we call it. There was evidence from scout ships that it was in fact inhabited until recently. There were functional highways, shipwrecks of familiar designs, but no signs of life. The military must have sent a fleet. Half of our forces were sent in. The remainder waited behind in case something jumped directly back to our system using the gate. These were invasion tactics we saw during the Terran conflict. The exploring force found stations of familiar design, but once again, no signs of life. Then they woke up. They focused on engines and jump drives first, making escape near impossible. It's a gutsy move to strand a whole Argon fleet on your own doorstep, but the Xenon did the maths and they knew they could win. And they certainly did. We lost a lot of people that day, even some ex-Terran pilots. Those decades together made us strong, but it seems to have allowed others to become even stronger. We lost Admiral Lido, so Bayes took over command of the military. She's way out of her depth. Uh-oh. That's not gonna end well. She's gonna make some mistakes. Developing new technology and maintaining ships and stations. Many ships use our engines and power systems. Since the gates shut down and our supply lines were cut, we have had to shift focus towards more efficient designs. I'm quite proud of how well we've handled our isolation. John Fico was once one of the largest corporations with economic ties to several species across dozens of systems. I hope our other branches have fared as well as we have. And let's get started or thing. Oh, let's get started. Open trade to DeVries until the military feel that they've secured the area. We will use this time to prepare. There are other corporations here who will jump at the chance to open new trade routes. You want to invite competition? There is little competition here, unfortunately. Each corporation has its own area of expertise. You will likely need food aid. That is the area of the Chow Corporation. Start Chow. With them. That's well, they need convincing? Bit. I 
expect they are already making plans to exploit the new gate connection. What we need is a united front with all of the major corporations in agreement. It will be harder for the military to say no, and it will make us all that bit safer when making joint trade runs. That sounds like a nice idea. Let's just hope other corporations see it the same way. Leave the other CEOs to me. What you should do is to help raise the profile of your Heart of Albion faction. Help these corporations and they will be more likely to help you. I'll send you some tips on how to get into their good books. Thank you. The sooner we get aid to DeVries, the better. It goes without saying. Be careful out there and the best of luck. Okay, I guess that's it. Thanks, that's all we need to know for now. Return to the ship. There's the bar, oh, it's not good. You don't need to go to the bar. Emergency exit is this way. Whoa, I almost walked off the hole. Emergency exit. Emergency exit. There we go, there's our rust bucket. How? How are we supposed to pull that? Or is there a lever up there? I can't tell. So, we have Xenon on one side and Plutarch on the other, and we're running errands for corporations who don't want to help us. Colburn seemed confident they'll yep. come around. Or first, oh. the Chow Corporation. So, yeah. fly to Everlasting Warden. Just like that. I leave highway in 500 kilometers. 400. Oh, look, I've pretty much got almost max speed, actually. Or max, because I'm not seeing any other ships pass us. Entering. Chow Bofu Star Warden. Complex. I'm Drew Haswell from Chow Security. John Furco sent word that you were coming to us for freelance work. What say we put that versatile ship of yours to good use in one of several possible areas? Of course, I'd prefer that you keep Chow facilities and ships safe. Are you having Xenon trouble? Not as much as other companies. Understandably, they don't seem very interested in food. The heretic vanguards cause us trouble now and again, however. And they are? Some call them an extremist anti-Terran group. I just call them thugs. They've made no friends here over the years, and so resort to raids to sustain their operations. They love nothing more than to hit easy freighters heading for Terran residential areas. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'll send you there first. A freighter is already set to leave. Stay close to it and keep an eye out for suspicious ships. So, Terrence, so there are Terrence here. I wonder if I can find any. I want the Terrence one, and we're supposed Looks to be like the here. freighter is waiting for us. Let's get going. Sitting still gets you killed. Lead the way. Sitting still gets you killed, so start moving while I go kill a consumer contact craft. And oh, yeah. I do that. Like, just like that. Done. Thank you for winning our station of attackers. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be happening. Oh, there it goes. Oh, hopefully it doesn't get stuck in there.
Um, great. Time to run. Slow down, let me kill you. There we go. Thank you for winning our station of attackers. Um, that looks like it's stuck in there. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to end recording here and fly around a bit, see if it eventually detaches itself. But I have a funny feeling this is going to be a long escort mission. I'll take you back to it just happens. Hey guys, we're back and it looks like we've reached, or at least we're close to our destination. What is this thing? Can I go inside it? Core dig. Wow, I can, I can go inside it. Not that impressive to go inside of it, still. This is the Nvidium. Ah, oh, this is the um. This thing's like solid Nvidium, apparently. So platinum. That is cool. We should be safe enough now. Thanks for the help, Skunk. I'll let the head office know how we got on. Let's hope they don't keep us waiting. Three days later. Otani. Good work. At least Chao know who you are now. Unfortunately, the Xenon are forcing our hand. Other corporations are being pressed hard, and the military is stretched too far. What can we even do? You're not here to take orders from me. However, all combat-ready ships are being sent to the sector leading to Maelstrom. I thought we had more time, but the Xenon are already massing. Are they preparing a full invasion? What chance do we have? Emergency talks with Plutarch are trying to bring them into the conflict, but it's not looking good. It seems they're happy for Omicron Leary to burn, followed closely by DeVries. The utter fools. Yeah. I won't even bother explaining why it's a bad idea involving Plutarch. I'm not surprised they're looking out only for themselves. Plutarch always had trouble seeing past their own needs. I hope they would have changed for the better. <sighs> Some days I wish I had never become involved in Albion. That system is nothing but corporate corruption and death. At least Borman is alive. But our youthful adventures are stories yep, for another his friend was Borman. The Xenon are at our door, and I hope you'll be there to help hold it shut. We'll be there. Tell us where to go. Off we go to Double Junction. Eh, junction is how you pronounce that word. Fly over the station, then dive down into the highway. So we're off to Maelstrom, I think, is it? Yeah. And it's either just beyond this. No, but it might be beyond this. this there might be another jump gate here, which would be really uh, inconvenient. Yeah, the jump gate so close to the center system. Nope, we got a sector over here and a highway. There. And where's the super highway? It's over there on the right. Double junction. And we're in. Hanging. There we go. Is there an addition past me that I can get behind and go faster? No. Looks like there's the next system up ahead. Yep, there's the highway. Fly to Silent Boy. Down? Yep. 
800 kilometers? Is this how I'd circle the whole thing? I think it does. Let's not find out though. We'll find out later. There's the jump gate right here. Entering. Oh wow, I had perfect timing. But I don't want to be next to the jump gate. Alvi and Skunk, I'm surprised to see you here. Your people hardly seem the type to help defend the Federation. Blue Dark is hungering down. Heart of Alvi is too weak to aid game. us, and the Cantarans are afraid to leave their scorched sector. They're fighting their own war. You can't expect them to leave their strongholds. The Xenon are through that gate, ready to invade Omicron Lure and overrun us in days. However, if they learn of the other systems, they will spread themselves thin, and we can then pick them off one by one. You wouldn't dare. If they learn of Albion, everyone there will be in danger. Hey, Dare. It's only a matter of time before they find Albion. But by then, it oh, will be too late for us. By luring the Xenon to spread their forces, we can weaken them and also bring Plutarch into the conflict. You're insane! You have a choice. Aid us in attacking their infrastructure to end this war sooner, or hold back and kill any Xenon which get through the gate. There are no other options. We're staying right here. The longer this position is held, the longer the Xenon stay out of Albion. You better hit them hard, because if we lose anyone in Albion with this station, you'll have more than Xenon to worry about. I doubt that, Otani. Prepare yourselves. They're on their way. Can you believe this? Our own people baiting the Xenon to Albion? They need to be warned. I'll send a data burst, but I don't know who will pick it up. Here come the enemies! The laddie. I'm gonna stay back here, let the Xenon force for a bit. Take out as many as you can. After the first wave, our strike force will enter Maelstrom oh, and no, head there's for their to engage any of the jungle. The remainder will defend the system. Let's go take this guy out. Come on, die. I should use that machine gatling gun thing. Uh, this one. This one? No. Oh, that thing has a bounce effect? That's cool. Spread that knowledge as pilots help to station. The strike Sonic. force is moving out. This ship, this weapon's good against the Xenon. Xenon has gone with Xenon swarming the whole sector. She's so out of her depth that she's not seen straight. Depends on what damage they can do there. Too many ships are getting past. They'll be at the gate in less than an hour. Let's just focus on what we can stop here. It's been secured in storage. Uh, yeah, that's the one I wanted to use. Uh, more Xenon ships over here. Um, Engine components. I kind of want them like to do quite true. Like, there should be more ships pouring through these gates. Like, when the Xenon attacked Earth. Um, they used thousands of ships. I'd expect at least there to be hundreds here. Cargo secured and hold. Oh, those ones are heading for the highway. Oh, that one's dead. That one's out of the way. Let's move it back. Pilots help to station. More ships going to the highway, I think. Yeah, there, those ones have made it. There's one over there, I see it. Spread that knowledge as pilots help to station. Station calling Otani. Family ask pilot to explain dishonorable action. Defending you. Okay, I think that's all of them for now. But yeah, there should be hundreds and hundreds of fighter spawns through there. 
Tani. The Xenon are halfway through the system, heading straight for the gate. I've sent our ships to slow them down, but it won't be enough. You need to dock at one of our stations. There are some upgrades you can install. I have a feeling you'll need them. Need them for what? Once the Xenon stop coming through the gate, all combat ships that remain here will aid the counterattack in Maelstrom. The Xenon will tear the system apart if no one is here to defend it. If Baze is successful, they can stop all Xenon production. That is the only way we can win. Until then, our stations will have to hold off the Xenon. Now get to it. Baze will need every ship to deal maximum damage. Split that knowledge is pilot's help to station. We're all mad, leaving the system defenseless. He's right. All on our own here, we can't defend the system. At least we can help the Admiral take out the Xenon production, even if she's insane. Okay, where am I going? Uh, okay, over there. Split that knowledge is pilot's help to station. Yeah, well, here, I'll just shoot that guy down. Hey, that's my cargo. Damn it, asshole. This is the Albion Skunk. Requesting permission to dock. Yeah, this is gonna be an episode, guys. I'll bring you back next time when we um, charge the Xenon in a very valorous thing in our little gunship. See you soon.